BlackRock just bought the dip, Shibarium transactions dipping, and Shiba Inu whales coming out of the cracks. What is happening this long MLK weekend? Let's get into it. So I want to start out uh, Monday morning with your weekly reminder that investing in crypto is risky. You can literally lose all your money to a rug pull, bankruptcy, wallet hack, smart contract hack, or just a shitcoin going to zero. Never invest more than you can afford to lose. Very, very important. Don't go balls to the walls. <laughs> it's going to be very tempting, I'm going to tell you. When things start going bananas in this next upcoming year and, and I think 2025 is when the real monkeys are going to come out, right? When we're going to see most of the bananas. Uh, it's going to be very hard not to go balls to the walls, not to go all in, not to, you know, um, just put all your life savings and a shit coin. You know what you should do? And this is a, this is a recommendation. It's not a financial recommendation, but you should follow on Twitter. I think it's called crypto confessions or something like that. I'll, I'll find it and I'll post it in the description. Um, there's all these confessions about people that made millions of dollars and then they just lost it, uh, in the bear market. Uh, and things that they were doing, taking money from their family, and all these kinds of terrible stuff. Read it, process it, remember it <laughs> for the next bull market, uh, because you don't want to be that person, right? You don't want to be the person, and the most terrible thing to be is the person that makes the million dollars, right? Doesn't pay yet taxes, then loses all the money uh, in the next year and has to pay the taxes, but now has no money. That's the worst thing to happen, right? When you make money, let's say in 2024, and then 2025 comes around and it's not April yet, you haven't filed your taxes, you didn't save the money, you lose the money that you need to pay the taxes for, and now you have no money to pay for 2024. <laughs> um, so, so you don't want to get into that situation. Um, so the crypto market was kind of sleepy uh, this weekend, you know, makes sense, uh, you know, after a great anticipation of what could potentially happen in the crypto market. But we are seeing some uh, awakening in the lower levels of the top 50, right? So if you go and you look at the market cap here, you can see that projects like um, SEI, no, it's not S SUI, sorry, SUI is up 10%. And if you go a little bit more, you can see uh, there is a, uh, you know, most are flat, but there are some like uh, Celest Celestia TIA, which is very interesting that I've been watching recently. It's already at 33 on the market cap list, um, three, 3 billion market cap. Uh, people are flocking to it and you can see in the past seven days 50 percent because there's a, a lot of uh, airdrops so people are gearing up for potential airdrops uh gains uh and if if you uh stake there but of course there's the risk you stake then the price goes down and then you're you're stuck right but people are doing that um so take that into consideration as well and you can see Aptos, 6.5%. So most of the movement that has happened here, right, uh, has happened. Uh, Ton up 12.7%. Uh, Link up 4.2%. There has been movement, uh, but, you know, in general, if you go to the general crypto market, it's down 0.6%. And something uh, that w I was shocked, right, uh, was the fact that the, the greed has dropped all the way down to 52. So it was at 74, over 22% point drop here in what four or five days um i saw that and i saw if it was at 60 yesterday and it dropped to 52 i was like whoa right i i i actually said that out loud <laughs> i was by myself so it wasn't like i was in the room with people <laughs> i was like whoa um i i did this this surprised me a little bit that we dropped so much from the greed um and just you know we're just back to where we were just you know a few days ago it's not that I understand why, because the greed was high when people thought that potentially uh, there would be you know, a massive uh, God candle once the Bitcoin ETFs uh, were released. But I didn't think, you know, this kind of drop 
uh, you know, it happens in the crypto market. I did not anticipate a 20, well, as a 76, so 24 point drop here on the greed, uh, but that's very interesting. Now you can see it, 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 there's always opportunity to make money. So even if the market is down, you can see I just I pulled the trend line here when uh, when I saw this point and this point um, and I was looking at it and I was like, OK, uh, you know, high probability that it bounces off of this. And I watched and I it didn't even touch, but, you know, uh, maybe uh, my line was, you know, off a little bit. But it got to this zone and it bounced off of that. There's always opportunity in the crypto market for day trades, for swing trades. Now, of course, that comes with risk that you have to know what you're doing. You have to have a stop loss. But I say many times there's there's, uh, you know, a uh, uh, a risk in the crypto market in general. Uh, and, you know, if you want to make money, you have to know what you're doing. You can't come in, uh, be a f uh, bystander, not know what's happening, not learn anything and just think, oh, I'm going to just put my money on some shit coin and I'm going to become a millionaire. I'm going to get lucky. You can get the same luck going into the, the convenience store and buying a lottery ticket, right? That's that's how I look at that kind of luck, right? What we need to understand here is that there's always opportunities. Now, if you want to day trade, you want to swing trade our partner, buy a bit, gives you that opportunity. It's only if you're outside the U.S. Um, so check it out in the description down below. Please trade responsibly. They give a $500 uh, Dogecoin uh, gift. Everything you make from that $500 you can keep. If you lose the $500, no harm, no foul. Link is in the description down below. Um, again, please trade responsibly. Remember that exchanges are for trading. They're not long-term bank account holding things like that. So it will be a very interesting to see where the crypto markets, I've seen kind of tweets that people are tweeting in the next 24 hours, the altcoin market is going to go bananas. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see if that happens. What we have seen <clears throat> is that BlackRock has been buying the dip. So $9 trillion asset manager BlackRock has reportedly bought a staggering 11 thousand five hundred bitcoin during the lightest dip um it's interesting right we had been talking about the fact over the past few months that blackrock does not want the price and not just blackrock all of them do not want the price of bitcoin to go up too much because if it goes up too much then they would have to pay a lot of money uh to purchase the bitcoin that they would need for their fun they don't have to buy everything straight off the bat I, I think if i remember correctly they can you know and they're not all the customers are not going to <clears throat> um you know be purchasing on day one um they they had to seed it with a specific amount of money that they disclosed prior and they and they did that uh but we talked about how i thought that they kept suppressing the market right uh, and so maybe that dip off was a last tactic from BlackRock. Okay, we dip it enough, we can buy, we save like 10% is a lot of money. If you're buying in 2 billion and you know, that could be a lot of money, $200 million is, is a lot, right? Um, two, 200, right? 2 billion is 2,000. So 10% would be uh, 200, yeah. Um, so that could be a lot, right? And so it would be interesting to see what we get after this weekend. Like, okay, suppression is over. They, they're they not doing their tactics anymore. Is this, you know, the, the, the cork that needed to be popped in order to release some of the pressure? I'm seeing all kinds of opinions in the interwebs, right, on the, the Twitter Twitterverse um, from people saying, no, this is it. We're going to go down now to 35,000. There's going to be a pullback. On the other hand, we're seeing people that are saying, hey, uh, you know, the weekly, we got a golden cross. There's all kinds of things that are happening here under the surface. This is a very tricky situation. And there's a lot of variables that are now moving parts. Nobody knows exactly what's going to happen. So these are going to be very important weeks and very interesting weeks. Right? I don't know where we're going to go from here. Um, it's 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 interesting. It's um, complicated, right? There's a lot of factors that are moving, moving parts here. Um, that could affect the the crypto market, um, but of course, like I said, there's always projects that are going to to pop that are going to have a little bit of movement. 
you know, like uh, internet computer was uh, popping a few uh, weeks ago and then it cooled off. Casper was popping a few months, like a month and a half ago, and then it started pulling back, right? There's all kinds of things. Uh, there's always, you know, momentum and there's always, you know, a little bit of a cool off after that, right? You know, things, things, uh, you know, there's momentum and then something shinier comes, comes along. Um, this is just how it is when you're in the kangaroo market, when you're in the moose market. When you're in the bull market, then it feels like everything just is going up and up and up and up. But when you're in this kind of market, this is how it behaves, okay? Interestingly, we saw a slew of whales buying Shiba Inu or uh, uh, transferring to wallets a 9.6 trillion Shiba Inu in four hours. Um, and so we saw an influx of large holders outflow indicator has displayed a consistent downward trend this implies that outflows from these sizable wallets have been on the decline signaling collective decision among whales to consolidate their ship holdings uh, which what prompt these whales to load up on ship portfolios at this particular juncture the answer my lion shiba inu's token price chart which has been oscillating around the 0.40s mark despite periodic fluctuation the price seemed to consolidate in this range um so it could be right although it has been you know 20 percent here 25 percent down uh, you know up and down uh, but for the most part it has been in this uh, 1000 range right there has been these outliers here to 800 and to 1200 uh, on on the uh, extremist extreme points here it will be interesting again to see like how shiba inu reacts if there is an altcoin uh massive movement will shiba inu be clinging to bitcoin movement or will it be uh you know clinging to a broader um altcoin movement that again i don't know if it's going to happen but you know it would be weird because the dominance uh, for bitcoin has gone down so much um, it will be interesting to see if that actually happens. You can see it's it's uh, you know getting under almost fifty percent here for the dominance. Um, so that will be interesting as well. Something a little bit concerning, but not too concerning. Um, when we saw Shibarium pop into seven and a half million transactions a day, I mentioned that um, the whoops whoa no. <laughs> <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> the, on the OBS, the buttons are so small. <laughs> I need bigger buttons. Um, and then I messed up the order, I think. Now I pulled it by accident with the mouse. Um, when we talked about the transactions, we talked about the fact that the, the, the chunk of the transactions was um, the, the SRC20 uh, inscriptions happening and the minting, sorry, of those... Of those uh, SRC inscriptions, and that there would be potentially a time where they wind the, those down. And if we don't have more projects doing more parallel things or similar things, then there's going to be a dip, right, as we move forward, because it's not going to last forever. So we're finally seeing that happen, uh, and we're seeing a dip here on the transactions all the way down to 1 million uh, transactions on Trebarum, which is okay you know we got accustomed to having around 8 million 7.8 million um transactions a day and we're seeing uh over the past few weeks the decline it just means that they're rounding uh, down the inscriptions a little bit you can see uh if you even go to the the, the transactions and we look at the details we can see that there's still minting going on um you can uh can you see it's a little bit behind my head but it's, uh, you know, a Binu. That's what they're now uh, minting. Um, so the minting has subsided a little bit. I wasn't too ex excited by the numbers then. I'm not too, you know, concerned about the numbers now because I knew where the numbers were coming from and I knew what could potentially happen here. Um, I don't know if anybody noticed this or is talking about this, but I did see an article about that the on-chain activity uh, disappeared. Reason is unclear. I actually know what the reason is. So whoever wrote this article, because uh, <laughs> um, I know where the where it, where it came from, right? So uh, it will be interesting to see if we get more projects like this and we can get back to you know 10 million, 7 million, that that kind of range in the future. Um, but again, we need a lot more. Like even even the seven and a half is not enough. Uh, we need like seventy, right? I need ten of those <laughs> for for a substantial, uh, you know, burn. But again, uh, if you've been watching the channel, you know that I don't see Shiba Inu burn as the the main goal here, right? Um, 
I'm not going to get into it. We've made many videos about it, but it will be interesting to see uh, where the market goes here in the next few days. Don't forget to smash the like button. Check out the links in the description down below. And if you want to drop a super thanks, I really appreciate that as well. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.